Well, new NCAA rules now allow high school players to take advantage of the early signing period. And some didn't wait, making for a big day in college football. Good evening, folks. I'm Josh Jackson. National Signing Day is still slated for Wednesday, February the 7th, and that's when the rest of the athletes will put pen to paper. But regarding local players that decided to stay in state, none bigger than Callaway's Malik Heath, the number one player in the state flirted with Florida after Mullins' departure, but he chose MSU in the end. His teammate, James Williams, the state's number one defensive end, flipped and sent shockwaves throughout the state, choosing Ole Miss despite being committed to MSU. Now, Kent White of Madison Central linking up with Matt Luke and company as he made it official with Ole Miss. Bro, Moore here told me a lot. He said he can't wait to get me down there so we can air the ball. Like, he ain't never had a special group of receivers like me, Gidry, and, and WAP. We got a special class right now in state. We got a lot of talent, and we got we just going to put it together. I had to talk to Breland, and he was telling me it was the best fit for me because I was going to be the backup from him. I asked him, I said, it was, a, it was can I have a choice to play right away? And they said, yeah, is, is the choice still out there? So I just went on with it. Ready to go, um, even on my site, because I um, had to fight for it. So it made, made me push harder, motivation, really, so yeah. The other in-stage signees include Brookhaven's Trace Clopton to Southern Miss, teammate Jamari and Jones also inked with the Golden Eagles. Not everyone wanted to remain in Magnolia State for the next four to five years. Several athletes are taking their talents elsewhere, like a pair of Northwest ranking Cougars, Cameron Carroll and Nick Hogan, those two ink for Tulane. Brandon 6'4", 240-pound tight end Reed Tyler. Well, he signed with Arkansas State and picked up a Ford F-150 in the process. More on that in just a second. South Alabama will be home for Braden Moody of Warren Central the next few years. Since I was little and started out playing football, I've always wanted to play at the next level, not just high school and that be it. I wanted to go on and continue to play. My dad and I made a deal that if uh, I got a D1 scholarship, he'll give me a new truck. So, I mean, he's probably regretting it now, but, you know, I'm holding, I'm holding his word to him. Yeah, pay up, Dad. He wants a King Ranch, too, just in case you were wondering. In other out-of-state signings news, Brooke Haven, Jeffrey Johnson signed with Tulane. Kenny Gainwell of Yazoo County, Inc. with the University of Memphis. Now, let's get to our report card on the Big Three. How did Ole Miss, Mississippi State, and USM fare? Well, lots of surprises. A shocker this morning for Ole Miss when four-star wide receiver Elijah Moore flipped from Georgia, well, to the Rebs. Yeah, Matt Luke also picked up ESPN 300 quarterback Matt Corral and the number one Juco running back. As mentioned earlier, James Williams flipped last minute to Ole Miss. In addition to the number one high school player in the state, Mississippi State, the number one Juco wideout and Stephen Gidry. He's from Hines Community College. Bulldogs also snatched by Damian Webb, one of Alabama's top prep running backs. As for Southern Miss, Brookhaven's Jamarian Jones, inked with the Golden Eagles, defensive back was a 2017 Dandy Dozen selection. Let's we'll see what the coaches have to say. You know, moving the date back into December, you know, it allows kids to make a decision earlier, get signed earlier, and, and you know, kind of get the, um, you know, the process finished with. The, the thing that made it difficult from a personal perspective is, you know, you get hired, um, you need to secure your current commitments. You need to add additional guys, and you're trying to hire a, a, a full-time staff and bring your own coaches in. Now that everything's out there, we, you know, we moved past it, and now we're just moving forward. We can deal with it and move forward, and I think that's what everybody's doing. I think that's why you see so much positive momentum moving forward, just because everybody knows what it is, and let's, let's move forward. According to Rivals.com, Mississippi State ends the day with the 17th ranked class. Ole Miss comes in at number 46. USM in the 83rd spot, Georgia at number one. Over to the SWAC, Alcorn and Jackson State tallied 14 signees in all. The Tigers got 10 to ink with the program. The biggest, well, how about this? 6'2", 200-pound Juco freshman quarterback, Derek Ponder. He's believed to be the missing piece for that offense. JSU also received an LOI from Quindarian Barnett. That's a transfer from the University of Idaho. And in Lorman, Alcorn had four NLIs at last glance. Adding to that already stout old line, the Braves signed Lyman, Delshawn Bradwell, and Wanya Moore. They make the all-time name list there. Dalen Burks and Jaron Russell round out that list. We'll see what happens February 7th. More to come. More to come, Josh. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you.